welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be on this look right here it's kind of like olivey green and gold look I was recently at Ulta and I was swatching a bunch of eyeshadows and I swatched a gold and like olive green right next to each other and I thought it made such a pretty combination so I decided to create a look using those today and I went with glitter for the gold just to be a little bit extra because I don't really ever use glitter that often so yeah this is the look that I came up with today so if you like it and want to see how I got it please keep watching starting with soft brown from MAC I'm just throwing that into the crease to help blend and then I'm taking this warmer shade this is from NYX I will link the exact shade down below and I'm just throwing that into the crease as well just to warm it up and then I'm going in with green and this is a light green from NYX again I will link the name down below and taking a more dense fluffy brush I'm just going to drive that back and forth in the crease in a windshield wiper motion and then I'm taking a dark green this one is from Wet n Wild I don't know the name because it's depotted from a palette but I'm taking a much smaller brush and really driving that into the crease and then going in with a bigger blending brush and just blending that out so that there are no harsh lines and then I am taking a little bit of black any black will do and I'm just applying that on the very outer corner of my crease and then blending it inwards just to add a little bit more depth and dimension because the green wasn't quite as dark as I wanted it to be Then I'm taking Half Baked from the original Naked palette, just a little bit of a base because I am going to go over it with glitter, so any kind of goldy shadow that you have will do. And then I'm going in with glitter. I'm first applying a glitter glue. This one is from e.l.f. and I'm just packing that all over my lid. And then the glitter that I'm using is from NYX, and as you can see, even with gently pressing it across the lid, there is still a lot of fallout, which is why I have not done my face yet. So I'm just applying that all over my lid, meeting up to the crease color. And, let it burn, let it and then I'm going in with liner. This is a felt tip liner from Essence. I have not used it before. It was a little bit messy going over the glitter. I don't know, maybe I should have waited a little bit longer for it to set. So it was a little bit messy, but you can use any black liquid or gel liner you prefer. And I'm just making myself a nice long wing. I can't and then I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning up any glitter that has fallen out. You can also clean up the edge of your liner and shadow. And then I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm using the House of Lashes in the Style Iconic. And then moving on to face, my camera cut it out, but I primed with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. And now I am applying some foundation. This is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. And I'm just going to apply that first with a synthetic brush and then go over it with a beauty blender. And then for concealer, I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And I am just applying that in all of the usual places underneath my eyes and down the center of my face and then I will go in again and blend it out with a beauty blender the night lay waste all we give but honestly you've gotta know that this ain't living but we could run, then taking that same beauty blender, I am going to set everything with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes, and then while that is baking, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows off camera using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. And then once my brows are filled in, I will just dust away the excess powder and start working on my lower lash line. I'm just taking a pencil brush in that same warm shade that I used in my crease and just smudging that along the entire lower lash line. And then I decided to use a bigger brush just to get 
it to come further down and then I'm taking a flat definer brush and the dark green shade and pressing it up against the base of my lashes and I did use a little bit of black on the very outer corners again and then go back in with the pencil brush and blend it out a little bit so that there are no harsh lines and then I am going to apply a brown eyeliner to my lower waterline. This one is from Urban Decay. And then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. And, let it burn, let it and then it is on to face. I am bronzing with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun just all around the edge of my face just to warm it up and then I will go in and contour with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and I'm just going to apply that in the hollows of my cheeks You've got and then taking that same no color powder I'm just going to run it underneath my contour just to sharpen it up a bit and while that sits, I'm going to apply blush. This one is from Mellow and it is like a warm terracotta shade. So I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks right above my contour. I'm also taking that Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just running it along the sides of my nose with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And then for highlight, I'm using this cream stick highlight that I've never used before and I'm just applying it with my finger and as you can see it gives a really pretty glow to the skin so I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose and my cupid's bow and on my inner corners. And then I'm taking this highlight from ColourPop and my camera stopped recording the initial application but I'm just showing you what I did. I just went over all of the cream highlight and as you can see, this is really intense. It's intense on its own, but over the cream, it is even more pigmented. And then once I have applied that, I am brushing away the excess powder underneath my contour and I'm moving on to lips. And I am lining with this pencil from Makeup Forever. It's in the shade 5C. And then for lipstick, I'm using this one that I have not used before. It is from Pacifica and it is the Power of Love Powerful Color Natural Lipstick in the shade Sweet One. And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!